Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to align the tail stock on the metal cutting lathe. So I put a dead center in the chuck, line that, and we're we're pretty good here. We we're within about a half thousand, so that's 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 pretty good in the distance we're going. And we have a live center at this end because that's what we're going to be using when we machine. So what we want to do is see if this shaft is in a straight line or see if it's slanted just a little bit in and out. Okay, so let's take the indicator and let's move down this part and see what we get. And it looks like it might be pretty good there. We're off about 1,000, so we can give a little tug here. If you can see right here, these two screws here move, actually move our tailstock. So right there, I just moved it about one thousandth. These screws right here, they move the top of the tailstock in and out. They have a gib with it. So now I'm going to take it back and just see how well it looks. And it looks like we're pretty good there. So that's how we align the tail stock on the lathe. And normally when you walk up to a lathe, you don't know if the person before you, if they were cutting a taper on the machine, they may have moved it over for a specific reason. Uh, Morris taper, uh, Cat 40, uh, doesn't, depends on what they're machining. I have the students now in the afternoon class, they're actually putting a taper on this part here. It's a small rhino shaft and so it has uh, a small taper, you can see it right here. So the afternoon students will usually move it over and it says, says it's 60 thousandths per inch of taper. But if they remember to move it back, it's a good thing. If not, the morning students will have to move it back. So you need to know how to align the tailstock. So that's extremely important to do that. Okay, if you have any questions, remember to text me or send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.